Okay, I got the um the lid. I got that painted. It took uh, I think about four coats to get it really covered. On this, I had to get it, take it outside and spray paint the uh, last coat. I put acrylic paint over it, I think it was three coats, and then I seen some spots that were just looking like it was going to show through, so I took some white spray paint and just put it over it. And uh, hopefully that'll keep from showing through the uh, tissue paper. Anyways, it looks better coated now. Um, right now, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this dishwasher safe gloss Mod Podge. It takes 28 days to cure, it says, but by the time I do the giveaway and get it to you, it'll be cured. That way, because I'm going to be doing a giveaway, um, but that way you'll be able to put it in the dishwasher and or just wash it without worrying about it um, getting water on it. So this is dishwasher safe, which is waterproof. So, okay, let's get started on... This, um, let me get a, some in a, now this Mod Podge is thicker than the regular pop Mod Podge. So, I'm not really sure how, um, how I'm going to really be doing this at the end. I mean, like what ribbon I'm going to put on it. Okay, so, well, let's get started. And start putting some Mod Podge right there. I want to put it all over the jar. From the seal here down. You have to put a thicker coat of that on there. I did this for, I made a cat treat jar for my daughter, daughter's cats, my grand fur kitties. And I used this so that they could put it they could wash it. Okay, um, so I'm going to start on this. Trying to see if you can see. I hope you can. I'm going to start and just put that like that. the roller. Cause I don't I'm trying to get the but you don't want to go too hard now because if you do it could tear the tissue paper. Which tissue paper, to, in my opinion, is easier than napkins to deal with when you're Mod Podging. Let's try to get it even as you can. 
ka. And I don't want it to be too wrinkly. Uh-oh. Oh, well. I'll have to deal with that later. It tore a little bit. I'll fix that. Uh-oh, looks like I cut that, darn it, to, <sighs> I don't want to tear because it's really wet with that Mod Podge. Okay, I'll have to fix that somehow. Mm. Looks like I didn't cut it right. I'm not the best when it comes to cutting straight. But don't look like... I'm going to have to put some more down there at the bottom. Cut another piece. Okay, so... If it gets too much, you just spread it out, but I don't want it to get, okay. So try to put some at the top and just spread it out. guys I pray that y'all pray for me that I'll feel better because I need to get my house clean and I'm having a hard time with not feeling good get cleaning my house I have to get up and just get it done and it's hard to do when you're not feeling well Okay, so I'm going to put some Mod Podge on that. Now, when I say cure, it doesn't take 28 di days for it to cure. It, it dries pretty fast. But I just want to get it. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I decided to go on with the pink twine. I'm going to put just a little bit of the Aline's Tacky Glue on there. And put the rest in Mod Podge so it'll... And what you get, I'm going to do is I'm going 
to start right above below the there because when you put the lid on you want it to um, be able to screw down. Uh, let me take that. Put it. Oh boy. Oh, sorry. I'm getting tired. So I'm gonna put um that around like that and try to pull it tight. I'm going to put some, uh, this dishwasher safe uh, Mod Podge on the ribbon, too. Having a hard time getting this out. Here we go. Nope. Dang. I don't know why that's not coming out. Mm, I don't know. Let me see. Why is it so stuck in there? Uh, it might have some dry glue in there. Let me see. Because this does get dry glue in there. And I have to dig it out. Well, it's not going to work. Let me see if I can get it out like this and just I'll do like that on a brush. Because I want it to stick. And then I'll put the Mod Podge on it. days have been all messed up. I can't believe it's Monday. I thought Friday was Saturday. Okay. And my best friend, her oldest daughter, got married. It's a very beautiful wedding from the pictures I've seen. Because they live in Virginia, so I wasn't being able to I wasn't able to go to it. Um Okay. And I asked her on Friday, I said, how was the wedding? <laughs> I was thinking Friday was, uh, I think Friday was Saturday. They had a very big, uh, beautiful venue. And rented a place. It was a eighteen bed, eighteen bedrooms and eighteen and a half bathrooms. It's where everybody stayed at. Can you imagine having to clean that place? Gee whiz, no, thank you. No, thank you. 
but it was nice. It was a beautiful place, and they got married right there in that place. They had their ceremony, so it was nice. Okay, so I'm going, I'll be right back. I'm going to finish uh, wrapping this. Okay, um, I wrapped all that pink twine around there. Around the top, I added a little on the bottom. And what I did is I took some more princess pink paint and I just, uh, well... I messed it up. <laughs> I put some on the bottom of the and painted it pink. And if it needs more after it dries, then I'll put a little more on there. But it's not done yet. And let me get that dry and then we'll finish decorating it. All right, what I'm going to do is. This has dried. I'm going to uh, put some 